Hey everyone, welcome back to Clueless Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a volcano that glows. So keep watching and I'll take you step by step. The first thing you'll need is a tea light candle or a battery operated tea light candle and some aluminum foil. First step is to shape the aluminum foil into a condensed cone. And you'll have to keep in mind the shape of the tea light candle because that is going to be the inside of our volcano and it needs to be a little bit wider than the tea light candle. So once that's done, we're going to take some brown clay. I'm using dark and light brown and mixing them together. And we're going to roll it out and drape it over the cone. Cut off any excess clay on the bottom of the cone and continue draping to create a triangle base. Cut off any excess clay at the bottom of the volcano. Once all the clay is on, you can start blending with either a tool or your finger. I didn't really have a plan for the texture on the volcano. I just kept roughing up the clay and moving it around until I thought that it looked good. You can neaten up the top of the volcano by slicing off the top layer of clay, but it's not really necessary since we'll be covering this up with more clay once it's baked, but it's up to you. I also cut out some slits at the top so more light would show through in the end. And I also chose to neaten up the bottom edge of the volcano in one long cut. <laughs> And the last step before baking is to just blend the bottom edges. And now it's ready for the oven. And once it's done baking, make sure to let it cool completely before moving on. So now you have the tedious task of ripping out the tin foil in the middle of it. This probably took me about 15 minutes and my table ended up looking like this. But after 15 minutes you should have taken enough out to loosen it so you can remove the rest in one go. And boy is that satisfying. Also, I just want to mention the cool impression that the tinfoil left on the inside of the volcano. Super shiny. Now, a volcano wouldn't be a volcano without lava. So let's take some orange and yellow clay and mix it together by folding it on top of each other until the colors are almost mixed. Now, all we're going to be doing in this step is cutting out little sections of the orange clay and draping them over the top edge of the volcano all the way around. You can add as much or as little lava as you want. Now don't forget to glue all your pieces down with a little bit of liquid clay. Uh, I did this after because I wasn't sure the placement of my lava, but if you know beforehand, you can of course do this before you place them. Now once you have all of your lava pieces on, it'll look like a hot mess, but it's okay, we'll fix that. We're gonna blend all of the edges together either with a tool or your finger. And I find your finger works pretty well for this. We're also going to be adding more orange clay on the inside of the volcano just to create more of an illusion that lava is coming out when you're looking in. Alright, so now all of the lava is added on the outside and inside of the volcano. 
and it is now ready to bake for the final time. Once the volcano is baked, we can now make it glow. So you can either use a battery operated tea light candle or a real one. But you, all you need to do is just place it inside and turn it on or light it up. And watch your volcano glow. And careful because the volcano gets hot. <laughs> but anyway, thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video and want to see more, you can subscribe. I put out new videos every week. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them down below and I'll be sure to get to them. But have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Bye!